yo 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 what it do you see this duke is gonna be a very common feature in most of my videos can you see how light skinned i've become oh my god i look nice my timer refuses to work on a t at a time like this anyway there we go hi how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great during this very tough and difficult time lockdown has been extended by an extra two weeks and schools have just gone digital literally and that is what i wanted to talk about today like i have a lot to say about this whole going digital stuff and i feel like this should have been i know it's been somehow well thought out but it's not being well executed if i should put it like that I feel like they thought about it a little too late when they realized that they're gonna have to kind of close schools and stuff like that. From that point, they should have just started working on, you know, going digital. Because I remember when we closed, they were like, oh, this lockdown is not gonna last, we're gonna be back. And they even set a time and a date that we were gonna come back. And it was the day after Easter, which was supposed to be yesterday. And then all of a sudden, the president announces that we're going to extend by another two weeks and that's when they started talking about online school and i was like guys y'all should have known you guys should have known that this was going to happen at some point i mean look at countries like china look at countries like italy and the united states of america you should have just seen the warning signs that hey look we might as well just have a black backup plan for our students even for the little ones and right now i remember it was yeah, yesterday, my dad got put into like so many WhatsApp groups for my brother, like all seven subjects. He's in grade 10 now, all seven subjects is a WhatsApp group and they're sending out like activities and assignments. And I'm like, they should have thought about that before the Easter holiday and like before schools close, they should have started working on those kinds of things. Because now students are going to feel a little under pressure because now they're like, oh my God, now I have this much amount of work to cover before exams and I mean we're already halfway through April and we all know that <laughs> once it's the beginning of May exams are like right around the corner and you literally have to have covered the entire syllabus for the midterm exams by like beginning of May from May onwards it has to be like clarifying little bits and pieces and literally getting into class revision <clears throat> And I'm genuinely feeling it. Like as as a varsity student, I'm genuinely feeling it. I only have like three modules, but the pressure is on because you start feeling like, oh my god, I've missed how many weeks have I missed? And how much pressure are they gonna put on me to actually catch up on those weeks that I should have been doing school and all that kind of stuff. But you know, we'll get through it. We students, every student from across the board, like from grade one all the way to varsity level we're gonna make it through we're gonna survive we just have to do what we have to and just be disciplined so i also wanted to give you guys a few tips that i have started implementing on how to actually just get work done on time so obviously there's a wake up there there has to be a basic routine you're at home you know what you guys do on a daily basis for example i wake up between half past eight and nine in the morning clean the house by 10 30 i should be wrapping up have breakfast between half past 10 and around quarter past 11 have breakfast in, and bath get dressed by all of that time and then between half past 11 and one o'clock i should be doing i should probably be focusing on like one module like i should be doing one module like an activity or just reading through some readings and stuff like that taking down notes and making sure that i'm just up to date with some of my work and then we have lunch around half past one, half past two between that time. And then we have lunch. I make sure that, you know, I eat, I eat proper food. I don't eat food that's going to make me probably feel like sleeping afterwards because then that's dangerous. That leaves room for procrastination. And then after that, obviously, I probably cover a module. And then after that, be after doing schoolwork in between that, I'm also doing other things. Probably I'm reading or I'm writing or stuff like that. Or I'm working out. Like I usually know that 6 and 7 I'm working out because we usually eat around half past 7. So between 5 and 6. No, I mean 6 and 9. 7. Yes. yes. Between 6 and 7 I'm doing a workout and I'm getting ready for dinner. And then after dinner I can literally 
watch a movie, maybe carry on reading what I was reading, or even do some schoolwork or start preparing for the next day. You know, it's, it's just having a basic routine for yourself. It's gonna help you guys get a very, very long way. And I hope that what I've suggested to you guys was, is gonna be very, very helpful for those first time onlineers like myself. Like, hey, it's gonna be tough, we can get through this, and I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish there were group chats for these kind of things. Maybe we would just motivate and get each other through this tough time. Just to make sure that we're not slacking, or if somebody needs help somewhere, we can easily assist them in whatever way possible. So guys, please stay safe, stay strong, we're gonna make it through this, just follow the rules and regulations, make sure you're sanitizing your hands, make sure you're looking after yourself, and this will pass quickly so guys i will see you guys next <laughs>